Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we see in today's gospel, the word of God gives us more on the matter of to know the spirit of mystery of God. In fact, there are two things. Listen and come and stay with Jesus. Firstly, listen. Listen means to listen to the word of God. In the first reading from the book of Samuel, we know that Anna, who is Samuel's mother, has presented him to the temple under the care of Eli, a priest of that temple. Samuel recognized the voice of God after third course turns to Eli. And Samuel awakens and says, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. In St. John's Gospel, we see that John the Baptist says to his disciples, he said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. For this reason, John came so that all might believe through to him. Through to him, the first believers came to Jesus Christ. Secondly, come and stay. Come and stay with Jesus, who is the Messiah. In the gospel, Jesus is continually presented to the other disciples who are Andrew and Simon. They all had one thing in common. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. Because they had found the Messiah, and they rejoiced so much that they decided to follow him. They changed their lives and became lively witnesses to the presence of Jesus to the world. As Samuel was called by God at midnight in the temple, so John's disciples were called to come and see by Jesus. Just as Andrew and Simon were to call to Jesus, who is the Messiah, so each of us is invited by God wherever we are. What do we do when we are invited, the brothers and sisters? We are invited to answer yes to God. If we say yes with God, we need to listen his words. They are contained in Bible. We answer yes as Samuel spoke to God. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Despite the fact that there can be a lot of darkness in our lives. We answer yes to God, which means we live our lives following God's will despite it is near evening. It means that there are many things that have made us unhappy, unpleasant, and we look bleakly that at the future, but we still trust in God. So, dear brothers and sisters, we are especially invited to present the Jesus and his love to the whole world because God's love is engraved in our heart when we were baptized. When we were baptized, we were also given the name of Christian. 
it means we belong to Jesus. As Peter's name was changed by Jesus to Kephas, which is the Greek transcription of an Aramaic word meaning rock. Christians also means we are in justice with the mission to present Jesus' love to others through our kindness, our generosity, our devotion, our sacrifices, our forgiveness of others, our unity with others. We see tomorrow our church calls all Christians to pray for unity within the octave of unity of all Christians. We may always try to unite to Jesus or who want to be united with one faith, one Lord, and one baptism in order that that others in love. By doing that, we need to exclude from our hearts sins such as hatred, jealousy, selfishness, deceitfulness, etc. Because they are obstacles for our unity with Jesus and others. St. Paul in the second reading said, you know surely that your bodies are members making of the body of Christ. Anyone who is drawn to the Lord is one in spirit with him. Let's listen and come and say with God, and let's answer yes to God in our lives. Amen. Please 